It's 9.34 a.m. on December 5th, 2019. I want to look at these photos that I took on the 3rd. <clears throat> the guy looks like this is normal on the 3rd. It's not normal, but it's normal for here and now, which is drone activity stuff. Um, I took some photos of this these weird plastic people that they're showing at Fred Meyers. Um, I made a video about it, but I didn't post it. Um, and, you know, the fact that I think that these are, there's something wrong with this. Like, this is, there's something disturbing about it. It's, you know, it's something dehumanizing. The baby's actually wrapped in a winding sheet. It's not, like, swaddled. It's wrapped in a winding sheet. Like, they're round and around and around. Um, <clears throat> this bearded guy looks like you know, in some ways he's intended to evoke somebody like my dad or my teacher, Mr. Self, growing up. I mean, there's certain people that these people look like to me, you know, that are familiar to me or evoke. Not that they look like, they don't look like anybody because they're weird people made out of plastic. This is something psychological. It's, it's intended to create a certain sort of response in people. And people play along with this. I think a lot of people know about it, but they're treated it as a joke, and I don't really don't understand that. Like, um, people playing with their own psychology in this way, or allowing their psychology to be played in this way, is really hard for me to understand. Okay, so I took some photographs of that. Um, that looks like a dealer plate that, you know, is uh, Minnesota. So there's. A, I'm going to show the Minnesota plate because Minnesota is clearly a problem. So the Minnesota plate is 558XHD. This might be somebody who lives in these apartments, and it might be somebody who's up to no good. The boards as a as a um, symbolic thing, and then these kinds of hair ties as being something symbolic. So there's some sort of something being alluded to here. I don't fully understand the nuance. There's another one across the street pointing to the water lid from the fire hydrant. And then there's this thing beneath this. Um, I'm not sure what this is exactly. It's some type of... Maybe it's where air comes out from a laundry room or something like that, and then there's this is right beneath it. Again, the the nuance. I know it's something there for a reason, but I'm not sure why. But then there is this stuff here. So there's a Bic lighter package. It says Bic Mini on it, um, and it's empty. So there's that word Mini again. And then beneath the table are these two Kleenex boxes empty Kleenex boxes. Now there's a couple things going on with this. One is I have a memory for some reason. I remember my cousin Joanna, who's now a pediatric oncologist, um, doing this thing like with a flick of my bic I get my chick because there used to be this thing on TV about flick your bic, flick my bic and all this stuff. But I remember she was doing this thing and this was at my grandma's house in Minneapolis. She would say with a flick of my dick I get my chick. With a flick of my dick I get my chick. You know, it was, it was probably like fifth grade or something like that. Is that is that partly right? What? I mean, just seeing the mini on there really makes me wonder about that. But beyond that, I mean, I don't even know why she was doing that in the first place. But like I say, her dad was, um, you know, again, they loved their dad, but uh, he was a piece of work. That's all I'll say. The little bit that I known of him, I could tell that I could tell you say that he was a piece of work. Um, and if he was involved in trafficking me, like I think he was, then I have every right in the world to say that. That's that's not going too far. Um, then I see these um, Kleenex boxes, right? Well, I've got, I'm constantly using Kleenex because I'm constantly congested because I'm constantly being attacked with directed energy weapons, so it might have something to do with that. There's also diamond shapes on these Kleenex boxes. 
And then the next thing, and this is behind a bar, by the way, across from Fred Meyers. The next thing right in that same parking lot I see is this. Like, you know, a little kid's laminated, you know, chore chart. Make bed, clean clothes, shoes in closet, tidy bedroom surfaces, brush teeth, shower, blah, 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 extra credit, blah, blah, blah. And then there's a little Bulbasaur on there. Reminding me that how this was originally framed to me, that there was something, you know, we don't, we don't think you're quite good enough for us, so you need to actually do better job of keeping your house clean. And you need to, you know, because, like, that was never, I, I always wanted to have a nice place and I think I keep my place pretty clean as far as sanitation goes and everything but and plus my I was never taught to do that growing up I wasn't you know taught to do a lot of stuff um, that other children especially girls are taught to do but <clears throat> I was more interested in other things I was actually busting ass trying to start businesses try starting a band writing songs being a single mom um, trying to climb my way up in the world not knowing again the whole rigged system and then this was just another rig this was nothing but another rig so it was like just don't make waves because we think you're you know we you scared us and so you know just so i was playing pokemon go a lot just trying to keep my mind off of the hell i was you know dealing with because if i did anything at all that was like write in a notebook, for example, or ask for my medical records, I would get retaliated against so massively. So I thought that, you know, well, everybody seems to be on board with this. This is the Obama administration, and I was watching Obama really carefully. I didn't understand Obama was like signed off on this crap. I thought Obama was defending the Constitution, and I thought everybody who signed up with the United States of America in that regard was defending the Constitution. And I'm going to post under this video, assuming I think I will post this video, and I think underneath it I'm going to post this link to this Penn and Teller sketch that I think perfectly encapsulates where Obama really was at. And I think Obama knew that this was going to come to a very, you know, possibly a terminal end. And he turned it into a joke. So once again, okay, that is the link, okay, to this stuff here. Where is it? This stuff. You throw your baby in the river, throw your baby in the volcano, torture a woman in her home, you know, a single mother, doesn't know she's blacklisted. It's all a big fucking joke. Taking away all my constitutional rights, taking away, you know, not even respecting my human rights. And, oh, if I get mad about it, then, you know, I get even treated even worse. So my response is to try to, you know, clean all the time, do my schoolwork and play Pokemon Go just to keep my mind off of the hell, you know, because they promised me that if at the end of the year everything's going to turn around, it's going to be fine. It was all a big fat lie. And where my cousins, you know, what I'm wondering here, because it says Bic Mini lighters, the lighters are gone, right? And then this is on the ground. Where my cousins, was this my cousin's architecture? This bullshit? <laughs> 